Welcome to KD Custom Woodworking. I'm Kevin Dunphy and I'm here today. We're here for lighting. And what I mean by that, exterior lighting. We've re we replaced these lights with the new ones, which look amazing. Yeah, look at that, eh? And they have a switch on the back up to 2700K to 5000. What that means is different brightnesses. Uh, one's more daylight, blah, blah, blah. The other one's uh, soft. The other one's um, yellow. I can't really see a big difference with them, I'll be honest. The 5000K is a little more wider. I, I'm just leaving it at the factory the way it came out. Here's the old ones that were replaced up here. It went pretty good. We replaced three inches. The original ones were three inches. These ones were metal. They had painted. They're all rusting out right, right by the ocean. They're not that old. And you can see they did use an LED bulb, but even this one, there's no comparison that to that. You know? Um, so now... We wanted to continue it. We had to run a wire. We took out the Easter off section here, cut a hole up there, was able to sneak the wire under and connect. The only thing is that plastic softened. It cracked a little on the corner. I have to touch that up. I'm not happy about that one. Um, they ran the wire down here. It was hard, I won't lie. I had a hell of a time getting that wire down. Uh, there's a little gap. I'll kind of show you right here. You see there's a little gap, like there's strapping right here and strapping right here. So ran the wire in between the strapping. Now I've tucked it up under here for now, the wiring. I go one, I drill a hole, I kind of go in. I drill another hole and I kind of go in. All right, um, I'll show you in a minute. And there's my roll of wire. I don't like to cut it till I'm sure, you know, I'll come down here for next one. My black tape is where roughly I want to go. But like with anything like this, I can't go exactly where the black tape is. I want to I want to stay here in this range in between the strapping, kind of in around here, but also on the middle of this. So you're kind of limited, and I want to stay if there's a, a joint on both sides, like right here, I feel there's a joint, so I'll go on this side, and this one's free. It just makes it a little easier, so a little bit of spacing you won't know, and uh, let's see how we make out. Uh, I'm measuring like 15 inches from the back, and I'm trying to be more closer to the edge so the light spreads out. Now, I have the four-inch hole saw. Uh, I'm using a different one. This one's a little dull. The other one grabbed too much and kind of upside down. I'm throwing my whole body there to kind of hold on almost with dear life. Uh, they really are awkward when you're upside down like that. So remember that thing could the clutch go. I can't really see. I'm just kind of going with the feel. And a couple of shots. I only had half inch plywood. So it wasn't that bad in the one inch styrofoam. Now here for the wire. I'm cutting it to length. I always like to cut a little extra. I don't want to cut this too short uh, because now i got to feed it through. So I'm just feeling a little gap there, just getting a hole, nothing serious. And just feeding it through there. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to now I gotta get the other wire for the next one. But before I do that, I'm just taping it up there. I have a piece that's going to cover that at the end, all like tape and that unslightliness there. Um, I couldn't go under from uh, like to like. There was two, they had screws in there and I, I couldn't do it. So I had to go that way outside. Now here, I'm just feeding it because I've opened up the hole already. It's, after that, it's pretty easy. I'm not cutting the other parts. I don't know where I'm going to be yet. And I'm using strippers. Remember, I'm using wire strippers. Uh, I've set it for, I like to go like the wires... 14 2 set it for 12 2 that way there's no chance of nicking the wire i have seen a nick in the wire once on the plug and it did catch on fire 
Uh, so remember that. It's important, you know, take your time. Get a good stripper. Uh, buy, buy a nice pair. Don't use the cheap dollar store ones, all right? Now here with the wiring, I use like a grommet. So I'm putting two. I will not put one, two wires through one grommet. No, I would never do it unless uh, I'm jammed in there. But here I can get two, no problem. Um, I got a little bit of room. I'll, re I'll do the uh, ground first. I'm not showing the way I'm doing it. I'm using pliers and I'm just going there. I'm not an electrician. I'm not here to give it a course on that. I'm just showing how to set up some lights. And whether I hook up the black, which is live, or the white, which is neutral, is irrelevant to me. I don't care which one first. Um, I'll do the one where the wire's on the bottom. So I get that down, and then the other one on top. So I try not to get the wires twisted. And I, I didn't go too long because this box is pretty small. Eh? So, you know, bear that in mind. It's hard to wrap it around. And the box is also made out of aluminum. It's very thin. Eh? So I use tape to make sure that box isn't going to open up. Uh, put my styrofoam back. And I pull a little wire there for the light that hooks on. And I'm just putting tape there and taping all the styrofoam there. And basically putting it back so that there's no air or anything else getting up in that house after. I, I didn't want to use spray foam. Uh, to put that there, if I ever have to service one of these lights or replace it, I don't want a total nightmare. And I'm putting wire there where it connects because I, I couldn't get the connector there. And that's it. The clip's up there. And we're done. Uh, that's really it. Uh, right here, I'm just testing it on the low voltage. Uh, the lo low voltage go one, two times, and it creates a halo effect on top. I really love the halo effect. Um, you know, um, after this video, I've used it a couple times at night. Now, here's a look on the house. And, you know, uh, like it works with the dimmer. Uh, I can give all kinds of effects with it. Um, the only one is above the bedrooms there on the top, on the left. Uh, we didn't put lights up there. It's a little trickier going up on the peak like that. I don't have this, I don't have an empty crawl space, so. We'll leave that alone. And you can see here with low, it's more yellowish. And that's it. So now basically you have lights from one end to the other with the overhang. It's a different style, that house. They did, did a lot of those type of houses with the overhang. I don't know what the rationale was. Maybe sneak an extra feet, a couple of feet there without spending money on the foundation. I don't know. It, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, those kind of houses to do anything because they're like two houses attached together so everything is tends to be a little harder all right so here are the lights that i bought um i love them like they got the halo like i said they got the dial there you can go from 2500 to 5000 and i would love to thank everybody for watching uh we have some great traction for our videos Please subscribe if you want. I put the link there. And if you go through Amazon and buy through us, I think they're a great value. Uh, I get like maybe I get a couple of bucks, which could help us with this channel and try to keep more content and maybe a little more one day full time. Thank you. Come again.